The year is 1976, and the Cold War between engineering and architecture is in full swing. Using the latest engineering technology, we have created a top-secret deep-sea research facility with the aim of perfecting human cloning and making an army of intelligent, good-looking, funny, charismatic, and modest, much like myself, engineers to conquer the world and eradicate curved glass walls and other architectural mistakes from the planet. But it won't be easy. The deep sea is a dangerous place where unexpected horrors lie. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to Surviving the Abyss. A super unique survival city builder set at the bottom of the sea. And first off, I did just want to say that this video is sponsored by Paradox Arc. And you can get 10% off Surviving the Abyss for the first week of early access, which starts today. There's also a cheeky little link in my description if you want to give that a boosh. Anyway, basically this is our underwater base. Look how deep and dark and scary it is. <laughs> Oh, if you're scared of deep seas, you might not appreciate this. Yeah, but as you can see there, we have our first mission. So let's click on that. As it says, we are 7,861 meters deep. And basically, our main aim is to create a fully functioning cloning lab. And obviously, we don't want our enemies knowing this. So we are at the bottom of the sea. By the way, if you if you hover over this building, you can actually see the people wandering around at the bottom. Hey, look at them all in there. They don't they don't look very busy. Oh, yeah. 12 crew are unemployed, right? We need to fix that. So first off, we need to be able to get mining resources. So if we go into the buildings tab, we've got the resources one. We can build a mining relay. Now, essentially, wherever I put this, can you see it's like it's showing me what resources are around. So on the right, it says we've got steel, iron and coal if we put it there. Over this side, there's a bit of quartz glass. Oh, but if we go there, we get a bit of everything. So I think that's where I'm going to go with that. Boosh. And then if we watch this, you can see it's got a float on it. It's floating up. <laughs> And uh, then we're ready to assign some mining subs. So you can see over on our base, we've got we've got these mining subs like ready to go. They're literally just sat there like, oi Matt, what, what the hell are we doing now? So we come over, we click on this and we say, I want you guys to mine some steel, some concrete and some coal. And then you can see them in the background there. They're going about their business, mining everything that we need to mine. So we are getting resources. We've only got three mining ships at the moment. Um, but as we can add more, we can mine more resources at once, etc. Right. Next mission, we need power and oxygen. So back in the buildings tab, if we come to the power one, we can build a coal generator. Now the building cost is 10 lumps of concrete. We've got 62, as you can see up there. Yeah, we're also we're gathering 10 a day now, so we can definitely afford one or two of these. Worth noting, although it creates 20 power, it does have a negative impact on the air quality. Uh, so we will need something to clear that up later. But for now, it's early days. Pollution shmulution. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what developing countries say, right? Anyway, coal generator. Where do we want to put this? Now, you can see there's lines coming out. These are essentially tunnels um, and you can line them up. So I can rotate that and try and line that up with a green um, or it can go any direction. I can draw the tunnels like manually. But basically, it's, it's in order to allow those people that were hiding in there to be able to walk over to this and work there. So I guess for now, I will shove that there. Boosh. We got to wait for that to get built and you'll see where are they? Where are they? Here it is. It's a little scorpion looking guy. So because he has claws, he is clearly the builder, the engineer around here. Um, so he is building that. You can see the bar going up. We can also fast forward time just to watch that go up a bit quicker. And just like that, it's completed. Now you'll see it says there's no O2. That's because we haven't connected it with our tunnel. So if we go to build a tunnel, we can literally go from one doorway and just do a straight line over to that one or a bendy one. Uh, well, there floats your boat. I mean, you can either come all the way around this side if you wanted to. <laughs> You can even take a very, very scenic route if you want to. <laughs> oh, sorry, devs. Sorry, devs. I know you're not meant to have a play with those, but they are quite fun. Uh, next up, we, we need an oxygen generator though, because if we look up here, this is our oxygen. You can see the oxygen output is zero, but our demand is one. So we're not creating enough oxygen because we're not creating any oxygen. So into the building tab, into the life support, and we can build an oxygen generator. Now again, you can see this one has four blue lines, so it's got four doors coming out for tunnels. Yeah, I'm going to shove this one over that side. And then again, we'll wait for that to get built. Now, we are going to need power to that, and we've got our power generation over here. If we come down to the power line, uh, we can literally build power lines. So I can go from there, and then I can just take this over to that building. Boosh. And can you see that grid underneath? That basically means we can build, if we build on that grid, then anything it touches is giving power to it. 
lovely jubbly. Um, and look, if we hover over this, can you see we've got people walking along our stairwell. I mean, we can even take a little look in. Oh my god, what's wrong with your leg? What's wrong with your leg? <laughs> I mean, they do have 7,000 meters of water above them, so that's probably struggling with the weight of that. Anyway, over this way, you can see power line is done. The oxygen creator is done, but we don't have any workers in there. So we can come down to this, the crew assignment, click on that, and we can pick one of these guys who is unemployed to go work in there. So I reckon Matt with only one T, controversial. I'll tell you what, you're going to go create some oxygen for us. And I'm, oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. I've just real. I'm like, why, are, why is no one got in there? They can't get to it, Matt, you knob. We've just been talking about tunnels. Um, and don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be stupid. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a very efficient tunnel this time. There we go. Efficiency personified. Well, I think, I think that's the saying, right? Anyway, now if we zoom in, we can see people are using the tunnels already. <laughs> they, <laughs> their feet really crack me up. They're like proper clown feet. Why are your feet so big? And why are they so like shaky? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't laugh at people's feet, but here we are. All right, so we've just been told that we need to create some food and we need a carbohydrate farm. Now, we haven't unlocked that yet, but of course, like all good games, we have a technology tree. So we'll click on that and you'll see up the top here, this tech tree is sort of tied to like the buildings tabs. So the building categories of resources, power, life support, population, exploration and research. Uh, we can research different categories of all of those. Um, but first off, we're going to do the carbohydrate farm. That gives us low quality food. So if we unlock that boosh, that is sorted. There's also a protein harvester, which uh, takes a bit more resources to upkeep and build and stuff. Um, but you can upgrade that later with different upgrades and stuff. Very cool. Uh, for now, I guess we're just growing like underwater potatoes, maybe. So we'll come into life support. We'll build the carbohydrate farm. Well, I'll tell you what, that fits in there perfectly. I told you this place was efficient. Boosh. So all I need to do after that is just connect it up like that. Extend our power grid to over there. And then you can see that is getting built by the claw. And just like that, it is built, which means we're now producing food. So you can see we're producing one low quality food every like 12 seconds or something. And if we hover over the food up the top, you can see exactly how that's broken down into your high quality food, your low quality food, how much you use in a day, how much you're creating a day, how many days remaining. Uh, so we do need to build another one of them because we are using more food than we're producing. So I should probably get on that soon. Uh, but for now, another mission over this way. So they're going to send me four new crew members. Lovely. Uh, but I got to get two living quarters and a stockpile of 75 food to ensure that new work source will be fine. And obviously, if we're going to have a large population, we need to find some more resources to mine. So I think first off, let's come into buildings and let's go to exploration. And then in here, we can build a sonar tower. Now, this basically tells you like what resources are in range. So can you see there's like there's like a huge area as I move this around? Um, I've, I can only build within my area of light around there. You can see it goes red like off the end. So I guess I'll sort of pick one side. I guess we'll go. Let's go there. Boosh. So sonar tower is being built. And then when that's ready, we'll be able to scan the area and see what resources are around. And then if we want to go get them, we, we need to put some light in range. Uh, but for now, let's get on with the building of living quarters and stockpiling some food. So in population tab, we can build living quarters. That costs 10 concrete. We've got 72, so I can build a couple of those straight away. I reckon people will appreciate living there. And maybe another load of people like in there. You see, they've auto connected because they're so close. Lovely. Now, our sonar tower is done. So if we head over this way, it's right on the edge. Can you see there's like a cliff there? And it's so dark. It's pretty freaky. There are actually like... What is that? What is that? What? I don't know what that was. It's gone. I can't see what it was. That was scary. I don't know what it was. Anyway, with our sonar tower, we can, we can search for different things. I'm going to do... I think I'll do fuel beacons. Uh, mostly because that's what the game's asking me to do. Find a fuel extraction point. So basically, we click on that and then we can, within the range that it's in, we can like plonk these down. So if I sort of, I feel like that covers like a decent area. So if I plonk one there, it sort of shows everything in range. So there's a bit of fuel over that way, which is good. And then if I keep looking, you can see on the right, the density, it's showing low over here, which means there will be fuel sort of in range. So if I do another one there, then you can see that is scanning and it's found fuel down there. So we've got a small coal deposit that way. 
down here, the first one is a coal extraction point. And first off, the right nut doesn't have power, so I need to quickly just extend the cables over that way. All right, then people can live in there. So we're ready to receive those people as soon as we have some extra food. Yeah, so let's build another carbohydrate farm just to get that number positive. And then that should work out on its own at some point. Yeah, I'm going to plonk that there, I think. And then with my tunnel, I'll just come... <laughs> not like that, game. That's not going to help anyone. I need to connect over to there. There we go. All right, so now you can see everything I've built is all connected by these tunnels. Everyone can get anywhere. Love to see it. So as I was saying, we need to illuminate the dark over to that coal extraction point. So back in exploration, let's build a light tower near it. So the furthest away we can go is there. Oh, we can go. We can go down there. Yeah, I feel like it's probably worth going as far away as I can. So I reckon there will be good. That is oh, it's so dark back here. It's so like really what is that what is that there it is there it is it's a it's a john a john dory an edible coastal marine fish Ooh, perhaps that will be another source of food but for now let's get this place lit up so our sub is building that you can see it plonking away and then the light is done so we should see that raise up once i've connected power to it there we go there we go so that is raising up and then suddenly the dark is illuminated oh my goodness what is that Oh, it's like a giant spider crab. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, it's a spider crab. A European spider crab. Uh, but yeah, the main thing we're interested in is this. The coal extraction point. Because uh, if you look there, the amount of coal in there is infinite. So we'll never run out of fuel if we start mining that. Now, looking through all these, we don't have a coal extractor. So let's head back into the tech tree. And then in resources, we have the coal extractor. That costs 30 resources to unlock. We've got 45, so we'll definitely unlock that. Boosh. And then we can build the coal extractor on top of that vein. So let's rotate it round a bit like that seems good to me. And then we just got to extend our power line up to there. Lovely. And then tunnel over as well. So tunnel comes out there and we can literally do like a straight line. We can connect straight into that building or we can make an elaborate tunnel network so that if anyone does discover this base, they will get lost just trying to find the entrance. Anyway, there's a new mission over here, so let's go do that. So basically, we've got to build a research center so we can start getting research points ourselves and then we can unlock all the new things. I, lo <laughs> I love how it shows you like what the layout of your tunnels should look like. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> And then the other mission, they're sending down a specialist engineer. Perhaps it's Paddy. Let's show a quick Paddy montage to show our appreciation of the specialist engineer that's coming down. Sorry, editor, if that's fat work. <laughs> anyway, sorry, back to the game, back to the game. Um, so in order to prepare for Paddy, because he is a black dog, he loves playing in coal because uh, you can't tell that he's dirty. Dogs love to be dirty. They don't like to be cleaned. So we've got to stockpile 80 coal to make Paddy happy. Um, and thankfully, with this, our brand new coal extractor, we should be doing that. We're guessing one coal every 15 seconds. Not too bad. Now you can see that we've got 57, 58 coal already. Uh, we can store 100. So that's good. That'll be done in no time. And now our next step, the reason we're down here, remember, is to be cloning. Oh man, I could clone like an army of paddies. I could have, I could have my own pack, a pack of paddies. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted. Uh, but what we need in order to start cloning, we need to start working on some like genetic mutation and stuff. Uh, so we need to find a habitat because uh, we know the sea creatures at the bottom of the sea, they're most adaptive to different conditions. So we'll click on our sonar tower and we'll say habitat beacon. Um, and then as before, I can't place this anywhere because there's too many tunnels in the way. <laughs> oh, he came up with that. And but yeah, we can, as we move this around, you can see there's mediums, there's lows. Oh, in the very middle, there's high. Okay, let's do that. So we'll plonk one there. And you can see that is scanning now. Aha, and over here, we have some habitats. So we've got a abundant habitat there. We've got another abundant one there. We've got an abundant one there. Oh, there's loads. There's loads. So lots of habitats to choose from, which is always a good thing. And then in order to get the genome samples from these different habitats, we need to construct a fauna trap because we're going to trap whatever wildlife is living in each of these. Um, now, the trouble is all of these, they are in, they're in the darkness. So first off, 
Once we've built our basic research lab, there we go, we can build some lights. Um, and I guess I'll probably, I should probably do these ones first because they're right next to each other. So we'll plonk that bang in the middle like that. And oh, can you see up there? Mining sub is idle. So if we go back to our mining thing, basically that means one of these resources we've completely mined out. I think it was the, was it concrete up the top? There is actually another concrete there. Um, concrete's pretty low actually, although quartz glass is also low. Anyway, I've gone for the concrete. So now that sub is back mining. So you can see research lab is finished. I will just quickly do a cable over to there. So that now has power. Now uh, worth noting those cables, they do take steel, uh, which we got 27 of, as you can see up there. Tunnels don't cost any materials to build. Hence, I've gone a little bit crazy with them. But as I said before, there is a purpose. This is top secret military base. We don't want it to be simple to navigate. Um, oh, ooh, now the... The thing with this is, although we've built the cable weaver, can you see it's still got no power? That is because, top right, our power demand is higher than our power output. So we need to build another coal plant. So coal generator, where's our... Can anyone remember where our other coal generator is? I'm not sure, but oh, look, that fits in that gap perfectly. I'm going to build that there. So you can see that's connected to the tunnels. I've just built the cable on the floor behind it. All right, and now that is done. So we're creating 12 extra power than we need now. So back over this way in the research center, we can make sure there's people in there. Yep, there's two people. They're getting us 12 research points every single day. Love to see it. Um, right, so if we head over this way, you can see we haven't we haven't got the power for the lights yet. So we'll quickly just go from there up to there. Boosh. So that has light. And reveal the ground. Ooh, ooh. So they are the two abundant habitats. So let's get a fauna trap and bung it in there. And then another one in that one as well. And uh, let's see what specimen we're going to catch. Now it does actually say this one should have spider crabs in. And this one, is it the John Dory? Oh no, it's a rose fish. So we just have to wait a bit of time to let that catch people. Well, not people, fish. And then same over here. This one will catch crabs. So we'll leave those two doing that. In the meantime, we have a little bit of an emergency in that we have no more steel. And you can see our daily gathering rate is zero. Um, what we can do, though, you can see there is iron to collect. So if I take someone off the quartz glass, shove them on the iron, uh, then that means we're going to... We do have iron, but obviously we need to make steel in order to use it. So into the tech tree, we need to unlock the alloy furnace. Uh, we need 60 research points for that. Because we're making them, we have 164, as you can see in the top right there. So let's unlock that. And then let's build an alloy furnace. It's going to take 15 concrete. Now that's going to turn the raw iron into steel that we can use. Oh man, that is a big, big building. So there you go. I've shoved that right next to the research center. That looks good to me. I do just need to tunnel it up. Oh, and the coal extractor team have found a coal vein unlike anything they've seen before. Could be game changing. It requires one crew to descend through the borehole to assess it properly. Is that something we should risk doing? So do I allow them to go into the coal vein? Remember, we're 7,800 meters beneath the sea surface. Or shall we just try and extract it? I reckon you got to take risks in war, so let's do it. Hopefully, I will not regret that. Oh, nice. We've done it. We've done it. But someone got injured. Now, they can't work unless we build a hospital. Now, we don't have a hospital, so we've got to go into the tech tree, into life support. And for 30 science, we can unlock the hospital. Let's get it done. We're a long way from the surface, so we do need our own stuff like that down here. So, hospital. Oh, it fits in that gap perfectly. That is lovely. And oh, look, we've captured. We've captured some stuff. Where's our traps? Where's our traps? Yeah, so if we click on that, we can see... Oh, yeah, there's the captured spider crab. It's a Marja Squidnado! Squidnado t-shirt coming soon. Uh, not, not really. <laughs> Maybe I should release a Squidnado t-shirt. Oh, what is that? Sea mine? A tangled mess of sea mines. These deadly devices would usually float much higher in the water. They appear to have lost their buoyancy. Do I send an exploration sub? I mean, unfortunately, I don't actually have any exploration subs, but I can build one by building a submarine factory. Unfortunately, we need 12 steel for that and we have no steel. Um, I do wonder, actually, with my sonar thing, is it worth having a look for resources? So over here, there is high resource. So let's give that a go and see what we've got. So that's a small iron ore deposit. Oh, we got some steel. We have some steel. Oh, aluminium. That's a new ore. 
All right, but again, to get the light over to there, to get the mining stuff, we need steel. So if we come over to the steel plant that we have built, uh, we need to add some crew to that. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any unemployed crew. That is mainly because one of them is injured. Now, this game is sort of, it's all about managing your people. So I know we're producing a lot of food. So I'm going to take someone... Yeah, Matt Kelly, you're my favorite. You're my favorite person down here. So I'm going to move you over to there. You're going to start producing steel for us. All right, so now we're producing steel. That is good. There's the hospital. I need someone to go in there so that we can treat the injured guy, Niall Hagen. So what can we afford to lose? Probably the coal extractor. We got, I think we've got full coal at the moment. So Connor, get out of there. Go be a doctor. I'm sure it's the same skill set. Like it. <laughs> If you can mine coal, I'm pretty sure you can mine someone's body to heal it or something. All right, so good news. Niall Hagen is being healed now. So hopefully soon we should be able to use him. Uh, but for now, we are down. We are down on the coal. But I think that's fine. Um, let's get building our cloning lab. Let's wang that over there. Oh, look, look down here. I've literally I've just found steel at the bottom of the sea. There's 58 steel there. So if I just build another mining relay, yeah, plonk it over this side, then we can get all that steel. Decent. Um, what's not decent, we've got negative power and we are, oh man, our oxygen is nearly zero as well. Okay, so I've just placed another coal generator down there. Now, you may have noticed in the top left, uh, we've got crew with respiratory problems because 13 buildings have unsafe air quality. Uh, unfortunately, because I was an idiot and... <laughs> have built this crazy tunnel network. Um, I've mixed polluting buildings with non-polluting ones, uh, which basically means we have unsafe air quality. So what I sort of want to do is create a separate oxygen network for these like coal generators and things. So if I build an oxygen generator down here as well, get that built ASAP. Come on, Mr. Man. And then what I want to do, I want to connect this to my main hub so I can connect that to anything. I'll connect it to that door. And then let's get that person out the research lab over to here. So that is now producing oxygen. And then I can do like a separate tunnel over to the coal plant. And I think that basically keeps things separated, meaning we're not polluting everything rather than if I like connected everything to like this main building or something. So here's our other coal generator. Can I, <laughs> can I try and disconnect this? All right, so we'll go from this to that tunnel. And that tunnel goes along there. We can then come all the way around here. Uh, we can't build in the dark, remember. So we've got to come close to that edge and then connect it down to that one. Right, then I've just disconnected this, this main oxygen generator from the main building. And I think that's now a separate network. Now, the trouble is we can't transfer crew like from these generators to the main building at the moment. Although if I were to research a dock, you can see we can use transport subs to move crew from any other dock. So basically we can we can keep them in separate networks. Uh, probably going to be handy later on, but I think for now we're all good. Um, oh, I've just been interrupted. It's Shane Bell's birthday. They want 20 food for a party. I've got 100. Yeah, okay, you can have 20 food. So basically, whatever answer I give, I get like crew relation bonuses, food bonuses. So we'll do that. Acknowledged. So they've taken the food. So they're having a birthday party. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I've got someone in the cloning lab. So let's open the genome sequencer. Look at all these, all these species we've collected. So basically, I can mutate like a spider crab with a rose fish. And uh, <laughs> shall we try and create something crazy? All right, so that is cloning. We'll leave that doing that and see what we make. See if we are successful. Oh, look, you can see this guy's finally, they are collecting the steel. So that's good. Steel is flying. Love to see it. All right, so whilst we wait for the cloning to happen, I think we should send an expedition to nearby biomes. So let's get a submarine factory done. We'll shove that there. Oh, and we've, we've cloned someone. Lauren. We've made Lauren. She's half spider crab, half fish. <laughs> <laughs> She's a clone. So we've just been congratulated and we've been told to expand our crew using clones to 20. We've currently got 18. So let's get cloning. We know the spider crab rose fish combo is a good mix. Uh, so we've got another clone on the way. Nice. <laughs> well, this is this is quite bizarre. Uh, meanwhile, the submarine factory is done so I can build an exploration sub. Yeah, but first, I need someone to work in there. I think I've probably got enough steel now. Matt, 
You're my favorite. Get in there, son. Wait, why hasn't he gone in? Oh, is he is he the disconnected one? Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We've got to delete that submarine factory because I built it on I built it on the separate line, the one that the, the coal generators run. I should have built it on the inside, like in there somewhere like that. So now let's get him built again. There we go. Then we can add someone to it and build an exploration sub. But we don't have enough power. Now, rather than building another power plant, what I can do, I can just turn off things we're not using. Oh, no, our clone failed. Why did our clone fail? Oh, at least we made Linda. Oh, they've all got the same last name. Anyway, third one failed. That's fine. I guess we can just feed that to the fish or the spider crabs. Um, <laughs> yeah, what was I doing? I was turning off the... Where's the sonar thing? That's using like... Yeah, it's using two power. So let's just turn that off a second. And then hopefully over here in the submarine plant. Yeah, we've got power. We've got oxygen. So we are going to build an exploration sub. No, we're not. We don't have enough resources. We need quartz glass. Uh, there is a load of that to mine. So let's go mine the quartz glass. All three of you miners on that. Uh, we've just had our power generator die. Oh, no. It's like it's on fire underwater. I didn't even know there were such things. Anyway, get it repaired. It's going to cost a load of concrete, but that'll be fine. Just get it done. There you go. You can see just repaired that. Decent. Old clown feet McGee in there. He is good to go. Working hard, as you can see. <laughs> Look how big his feet are. I'll never get over that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything's gone red. Everything's gone red. What's wrong? What's wrong? Um, oh, and by the way, look. The first clones have been a partial success. Our mutation in genetic sequence means their lifespans are shortened. So maybe I shouldn't have merged the two species. So we'll need to clone a steady supply to ensure the facility remains functional. This is exactly the start we're hoping for. The sacrifice you are making is a great benefit for humanity. And we will take over those evil architects, scum. Uh, anyway, yeah, we, we're, we're out of fuel. We need to get mining coal again. There's concrete on that one. There's coal there. Get them all on there. There we go. That should cheer things up. Um, and we also go... We need to go explore. We know there's there's loads of resources over here. Was there fuel over here? I don't actually... I don't actually see fuel. Not ideal. Ah, oh, there's coal deposit there. Okay. And yeah, before I do anything, I am... I am just going to explore these. So, Matt Kelly, since you're my favorite and you're currently unemployed, you're going to go investigate. Send a sub. So, uh, Matt, be careful, mate. Please don't blow yourself up. So, you can see he's down there. He's in the sub. He's heading over to the mines. Oh, careful. He's just gone straight through it, you knob. <laughs> Do you not know how mines work? Oh, he's dropped a flare. Why has he dropped a flare? So, they're advising we get rid of it because it's pretty dangerous having it that close. Um, they're not sure if we know how to disarm it. But if we do, there's loads of steel. Yeah, let's exploit it. Let's do it. I believe in you, Matt. You're the best, Matt. Yes, we did it. We complete. Oh, we got 90 steel for that. Banging. All right, next up, we got to go find some more fuel because we are we're not in a good place. I um, mean, while we're doing that, I'm gonna send someone to probably the coral reef. So Matt, get in there, son. You're on your way. So he's gonna explore. I probably should have put more people in that sub, if I'm honest. I think it was like three star difficulty. The mines was only one star. Perhaps that means how many people you need in there to survive. Don't know. Anyway, there he goes. Brave Matt into the abyss. It's so dark. It's so scary. <laughs> yeah, look, he's on his way to a new biome. And different biomes have like... Oh, no, he's, he's drowned. Why is he drowning? Come back then, Matt. What are you doing? Why is he still going that way if he's drowning? Wait, did he die? Wait, what the what the frig is that? Oh, it's a, it's a jellyfish. Um, I feel like Matt Kelly may have died. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry if that's true. Well, at least we gained some resources, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to keep on cloning. I'm going just four rosefish this time. Less mutations. Our clones should live longer. I'm going to build some lights on my way over to the fuel because we are running low. <laughs> We're in emergency mode. It's not good. Oh, no. Everything's gone dark. We ran out of coal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Well, anyway, guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, you do need to carefully plan out your resources, though, because we are in a bad place right now. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of fun. If you enjoyed, be sure to click the link in my description. Check it out. Remember, there's 10% off for the first week only. Uh, so be quick if you do want to check this out at a reduced price. Thanks again to Paradox Arc for sponsoring the video. Really, really enjoyed this. But yeah, for now, I'll say peace, love, and tunnel spaghetti. Bye, guys.